Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and to another reaction video. This time we'll be checking out another Family Guy humor co compilation, and this is dark humor. For all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I, I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while, <laughs> and I just, I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? <laughs> oh shit! Counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me, sir. I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. For years now, I've been planning <laughs> on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Tina, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember. We've got to stick together <laughs> and that smelly girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? I'm tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be ten cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. Grabbing your dog's <laughs> children. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Oh, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. <laughs> Show us who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with age. Yeah. Well, in the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice <laughs> You need me to clean out your litter box? Mittens. Well, she's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him to mate, but he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay, I've had enough. Hmm. Give me this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No. Ah, fudge. Wait, I know. I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. <laughs> now no one's forcing us to watch those awful PBS documentaries. And now, PBS presents Albino of course. Children Are Normal. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes, the moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what all the star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get, even during school shootings. Devil our vest. Devil our vest. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> yeah. Next year, you can have a vest. <laughs> Jesus. And it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. <laughs> Not overly affectionate. There you go. That's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys. Fight. This is Kevin's best friend, and he came home for my rat. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday, and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're going to start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah, this is what you are. This is what I am. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the death game. Oh my god, this has been a 12 minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12 year old girl, too.
too. Oh, my shit. name's Jenny. Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. Look at this note. Oh, yeah. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, shit. They did not need much. <laughs> Great day for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> I got the guy. I got the guy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. You forgot to I say. forgot to say clear. <laughs> did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be the ending for this day. <laughs> we fertilized an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. Here's Hillary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I got more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Like people in massive debt? Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you back. I don't think you'll have any control over it. All right, Joe, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. <laughs> you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. <laughs> hey, thank you, Tree Jesus. Romans have a long history of figuring stuff out, like my great grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. She's dead. <laughs> able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! Joe, what do you do up there? Enjoying heaven, Mom. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <laughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. I forgot to make it look like an accident. <laughs> you nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> <laughs> you should always fight for what you believe in, like Patrick Henry. Give me liberty or give me death. Ooh. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paperwork, Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want you to know I'm very skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, listen, I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. 
I took one step outside the resort. <laughs> oh. Well, there you have it. It's Family Guy, the Dark Humor compilation. And yeah, there was a lot of fun stuff in there as well. Some a little bit cringy stuff as well. And yeah, not all humor has aged well, but yeah, I'm Family Guy is known for being that that kind of show that keeps testing the, and pushing the limits of humor and I mean, some people like it, some people hate it, and a lot of people are probably, you know, scaling in between. They are still, I did find it funny, this one especially. <laughs> so if you have a, a, a other Family Guy compilations, just put them down below, I will check them out when I have the time. Hope you enjoyed my reaction, don't forget to like, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in another video. Bye.